next thing I want to show you from our trip to the Oregon coast is the stuff that we collected on the beach in the sand. I've divided it into two piles. One of the piles is all of the natural stuff, the stuff that came from nature, and the other pile is all the human-made stuff, trash. I also have a little piece of charcoal, a piece of burnt wood in my pile of things from nature. This might have been from someone's campfire on the beach. And then <laughs> there's a little tiny sea snail's shell. It's so little. We found that in the sand too. And the last thing I want to show you from my nature pile is this. It looks like a piece of plastic, but actually it came from a sea creature called a velella. They're also called wind sails or purple sails. And this part floats on the surface of the water and it has these long feelers that hang down in the water to catch small bits of food. When the velella dies, this part washes up onto the shore. It looks just like plastic. Now these things over here in the human-made pile, you recognize them. Here's an old aluminum can. I have bits of plastic bags. Here's a straw, duct tape, candy bar wrapper. Oh my goodness, this stuff shouldn't be on the beach. Here's a piece of red plastic. And this is from, a, it's a float from somebody's fishing line. You know, an animal might think that's some kind of an egg, like a fish or something, and it might swim up and eat it. And then I have these tiny little pieces of microplastic that might look like food to ocean animals. That's styrofoam there. So I have my human-made stuff, my trash, and then I have my nature stuff. And next I'm going to show you an activity that you can do uh, using the nature stuff and the human-made stuff. Now that we've divided the human-made stuff from the natural stuff, I'm going to very carefully move the nature stuff over to the side. I think I'll save it, and maybe later I can make some kind of an art piece out of it. I wonder what kind of art project you could make with natural materials like this. I'll move all of these out of the way because I want to focus on the junk right now. I want to focus on the human-made stuff, the trash we found on the beach. When scientists are studying things, they like to figure out the area of different items. The area of an item is the space that it takes up. I'm going to choose three items and I will see what the area is of each one. I have a big one. I have a kind of a medium-sized one. And then I have a small one. You see all three of the ones that I have chosen, they fit on this grid. To figure out the area, I will draw the outline and then pick it up and I can count the number of squares that it takes up on my grid. I'll do that with each one. First, I'm going to draw the big one. I chose a green marker because green's my favorite color. Very carefully drawing just the outline of this man-made item that I found on the, oops, that I, that I found on the beach. It's hard to hold it down and draw it at the same time. OK, 
Okay, there's my big one. Now I'm going to draw the outline of my medium sized piece. This will be easier because it's stiffer. It's a harder piece of plastic. It'll take a really, really long time to break down into little pieces. And my smallest piece is right here. It's a hard piece of plastic too. The interesting thing about plastic is it doesn't stay in one piece. As it floats around in the ocean, as it's washed up on the beach, it will gradually fall apart into smaller and smaller particles. And it's the really teeny tiny little particles that are most worrisome on the beach because it's the little teeny pieces, the microplastics that ocean animals eat by mistake, and it makes them sick and sometimes they die. The sad truth is, we have a lot of trash on the beach. We need to do a better job of keeping the beach clean because it's a habitat for lots of ocean animals. Okay, I have my outlines. Next I'm going to count the number of squares for each of the three items, and then I'll tell you what each one was. I've drawn the outline around four of my human-made items from the beach. I had my big piece of trash, my medium piece, size piece of trash, and my little size piece of trash. So when I drew the outline on the paper of the big piece of trash, by the way, it's from a bag of chips, uh, it was this outline right here, and you can see I wrote the number 232 inside there. I counted all the complete full squares. If it was only part of a square, like right there, I didn't count it. And when I counted all the full squares, there were 232, which means that rounding off the number, um, this piece of trash had an area of 232 centimeters. When scientists measure things, they don't use inches, they use centimeters. So I need to write 232 centimeters for the area of the large piece of trash. When I counted the num number of full squares for my medium piece of trash, I got 15. The area for this piece of trash is 15 centimeters. And when I drew the outline of the small piece of trash and counted the squares, you can see one, two, two centimeters. The area for the smallest piece of human-made stuff was two centimeters. Now the interesting thing is a lot of people think that the big trash is the worst problem on the beach, but actually that's not true. As the big items fall apart, they become smaller, like my medium piece here, they have a smaller area, and as the medium pieces of trash continue to fall apart in the wind and the waves, then they get smaller and smaller and smaller, and it's the really tiny pieces of trash that are actually the biggest problem, because they're the ones that are eaten by animals, and they're the ones that are hard to find on the beach when people go to the beach to clean it up. The last thing I'm going to show you about trash on the beach is actually kind of a combination of science and math together. I'm going to show you how I have made a graph of all of my trash as a whole. And this graph will show us how many pieces of trash of different lengths they are. For example, this piece of plastic I can put right on the square grid. And I'm going to count how many squares it is long. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's ten squares long. So when I come to my graph, I find the number ten. And you can see I already have recorded four that are ten centimeters long. Now I have to add one more for the one I just counted. So, so far in my collection, one, two, three, four. I have five pieces of plastic that are 10 centimeters long. I'm still working on my bar graph, and my bar graph shows how many pieces of trash of each separate length I have. I need to see check the lengths of the three that I've already recorded the area for. Now I need to find the length. You can see on the smallest one, it's one, two centimeters long, two squares. So I'll need to record that on the graph. So I go over here to the number two, and I fill that one in, okay? So far I have two pieces that are two centimeter, centimeters <laughs> long. I'll put that in the pile. Now I'll go to my medium size one. I want to find the longest side. That's that side. And I'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's seven squares long. So I need to find the number seven. Oh, and I'll fill this one in. I now have two pieces of trash recorded on my bar graph that are seven centimeters long. Last one is this big old chip bag, or piece from one side of a chip bag. I'll put it out of the way and count how long it is. I'm only counting the full squares, not the part squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 21, 22, 23, 24. I go over here to 24, and I'll fill this in. I have one piece in my collection that is 24 centimeters long. You can see that by looking at my bar graph that I have some pieces that are only one centimeter long. There's one that's, I only have one that's six centimeters long. Look at how many I have that are 15 centimeters long. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. There are 11 pieces of trash here that are 15 centimeters long. And way over here, you can see it says the word more than. There are two pieces of trash, human-made stuff in my collection, that are more than 30 centimeters long. Now, my bar graph is done. Thank you.